Hey, this is Farmer Teacher of Farming Simulator 22, and we're looking at a new map here, Fox Farms. Uh, when you start, you're going to be right here at the mailbox of your driveway, and your land is that way. Uh, real quick, just show you kind of what you have on the map here. Oops. So you have this area right here which is all your farm and you have field 33 here which is a pretty good sized field so your farm is that way you have this field right there and of course it starts out you know with wheat in it you only have the one field so not unlike some farms where you have one that's got to be cultivated and some you got to be you know so let's run over here to the actual farm and take a look It does include this little bit of grass right here, so you could start doing something with that. Uh, I put greenhouses here because it's more cost effective than just uh, using the grass. You have a little dog there. Uh, it's cool. You have a truck. When you come by here, uh, you can feed the dog by hitting the left joystick on uh, console. I just put feed in there and he'll show up. Uh, when you do that so this is your house right here there's your dog he came to eat that's your house right here typical little farmhouse pretty nice seen it on some of the maps uh, you're pretty well equipped with garages you have this area here which i really like a uh, nice solid area you have lots of storage over here and you have lots of silos uh, the map actually comes with a lot of stuff, so we're just going to walk through real quick. Uh, you have this trailer here. Cultivator. That's a shallow cultivator. Uh, you have a planter, or I'm sorry, a cedar. A lime slash fertilizer spreader. You have the 7150 Case 2 Harvester, which is decent. Uh, if you're looking at harvesters, see it's a good bit up from the bottom. Some of these start with a very basic one, and this one's several notches up, so decent harvester. The fields here are large, though. You got this gizmo. And you get these conveyors there so you can get uh, stuff to this takes it to your silo and that takes it from your silo I actually have another video on the we're operating those two things and you have all these silos uh, one two three four five six right here this one is just for looks but you have another one over there that you can use it's an actual silo kind of weird that it's stuck in another place uh, so to get stuff in there you got to use the yellow one piece of equipment that conveyor put it on the top and the red one goes under here so you can get stuff out I like to say there's another video on that let's take a look at your tractors real quick Get this case here, 135 horsepower, relatively small. And then you get a large one here, uh, 340 horsepower. Case two. So looking at the menu, let's go down here to what we have here. So you have the one small tractor there. The large tractor actually has 374 horsepower. And this one has 169, so it pulls a good bit of stuff. You got this skid steer loader. You have your little truck, uh, your trailer, the one header, a shallow cultivator. So it's good for doing the crops that you have on here, but not root crops. 
you'll need a regular cultivator for that and or a plow. Okay, you got your cedar there and a weight and then your belt systems there. Putting it in, taking it out. Oh, you also have some uh, new crops on here, which is kind of cool. If you go down here, you can plant flax, peas, lentils, and then of course the flax also yields flax straw. So that's like your other uh, grain type crops when you do it and it makes straw. Uh, the price is higher though, uh, but it doesn't produce as much. It ended up being about the same. Uh, peas and lentils. Now I notice uh, the prices on these things vary wildly. And what I mean is sometimes based on location right here, these are pretty even. Uh, I have looked on here and it varied like 100%, you know, from one location to the other. Or when you look at the seasons, like if you look at the seasons for peas from $800 to 2100 almost, or for flax from 23 to 33 that's, you know, that's 50%, not too bad. Lentils, though, look at this, from 2400 in August to almost 6100 uh, in July. So huge difference there, huge difference, you know, two and a half times as much. So it swings wildly with the market. And then I had a more than one map, one map, the prices were a lot lower than I opened up another farm on a different map. So it just depends what the market's doing. Those particular crops do swing wildly around. Okay. Wildly around. So you do have this little bit of grass right here. So you own this farm. Okay, we're into the new farmer mode. Now, something interesting, if you go to the, well, I'm gonna show you that in a second. So this is your field over here. It's rather large, uh, nice field though. And something interesting about this map, and I'll do a second video on this, but is this cow pen over here. Probably should have jumped in my truck. So the fields are big. You know, there's a long run over here since I'm running. Getting my exercise in. Okay, we're getting close. You're starting to see it. Uh, you do have a water source here. It charges you. I like to use a well mod for 2000 that gives me free water, uh, but that's your choice of water right now. And we'll look at this cow pen a little later, but it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. You have cow pen here, there, and another one. There's like three of them uh, that you could use. And you have all this area, this open silo area. Had a few issues with that. And these silos are for looks. Now, if you, if you take those out, some things disappear that you need. So may not, might not want to do that unless you're just not going to use that. Uh, like I said, I'll do another video on this with the parts of that whole separate little thing there. Let me just look at the uh, big map here, show you. So there's not a whole lot of activity here. This is your area right here, including that little tiny grass field there. Okay, that you see there, oops. And then you have this field. So you'd have to buy these others. Uh, they're kind of expensive. Uh, this one is 211,000. So that's probably the cheapest one to get. This one's expensive because it has all the cows in there. You know, that one's 786. Uh, this one is 674. 278 so you can have to work a little bit to get some money but you have all these silos now something uh, the shop is over here okay right here and a lot of your points are set points of sale are here also and then you have a few others there spread on the map there's not many that are out so most of them are concentrated there then you have a few others Interesting maps, very, very flat. If you look around, 
a very flat, usable farmland. You can see that. Everybody's taking a little look around there. Very, very flat, usable. Now, something interesting about these silos. Uh, one, you have to use those conveyors to put stuff in and out. But two, uh, they do hold different crops. So at first, when I looked at this, I thought you had to put different ones in different silos, but you do not. You can put, uh, you know, like if you have wheat and lentils, you can put them in the same silo or and or another crop, peas. You can keep putting them in there until it's full. So that's pretty good. And then you move to the next one. So you don't have to have different crops in each one, but you do have to. So you set up your little uh, conveyors there. You can leave them until that's full, then move them to the next one. So that's an overview of Fox Farms. I'm going to have another video uh, with some more details, specifically that cow pen over there. And, uh, but it's pretty neat, pretty neat. Now you can sell uh, this thing, get a little bit, I think. Let's see, let's go to construction mode. Because that one's just for looks. Let's see if we get anything for that. Yeah, you get 75,000, so you could sell that. Doesn't hurt anything. It's just for looks anyway. And then uh, you might need this one later, but if you needed some cash, you could always sell this one because it's over here by itself. So if you wanted to, and you could get 36,000 for that if you want to sell that. So there you go. That's an overview of Fox Farms. Great map. If you like to do some farming there, uh, you know, it's not a forestry map. It's all uh, straight farming. But if you like to do that, uh, very, very flat, good farmland. So that's all I got. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. And share the channel if you like what you see. And I'll see you. Bye. Okay, one more thing I forgot to show you. When you're starting out on the game, if you go to Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, Normally, farm manager gives you like a million and a half bucks, but you don't have anything, no land, no equipment. Uh, this one gives you a certain amount of money, maybe 500,000, but you also have nothing. Uh, but let me just show you the way it works on this particular map. It's almost like a little cheat here. So we just did uh, start from scratch. Uh, most cases, we would have nothing All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So now we have no land. So if you look at our land, you know, there's nothing we own, no land, okay? But if you look at equipment, we actually start even though we're starting from scratch, we're starting with the standard equipment. We have a tractor that's worth $245,000, a harvester. So even though we did start from scratch, we have all this stuff that you get on the standard map uh, that you don't have on most other maps when you start from scratch. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. Thought it was kind of cool, different way to do it. So if you start from scratch, you're really not starting from scratch. You start with 500000 no land, but you have all this equipment. And it's kind of a good thing because land here, you know, the fields are expensive. So you can't start with like a, a $50,000 field because there's no such thing. So uh, kind of a neat thing. Just want to point that out. And that's it. Uh, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the channel if you like what you're seeing. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.